All right, boost leak test showing zero. Let's see my setup. I'm plugged into the inlet. I've got these. Uh, these are the uh, valve cover and uh, I guess crank vents, which I've actually just plugged at the end here with a couple bolts and tightened them down. The PCV up here I capped and the hose for that with another bolt through it and capped as well as the uh, purge solenoid is uh, removed and plugged there and where it goes into the intake is uh, capped with a screw as well. So, showing zero PSI. I need three hands to do this, so bear with me. Crack open the pressure here. Watch it start to climb. The ball valve is only about half open right now, and I've got my regulator upstairs set at about 30, so a little bit of a fail safe. I don't really need to go much above 20, so I'm not going to open it any farther. Actually, I'll just crack it a little bit just to see it maintain. We're showing about 21 PSI or so according to the gauge. So now I am now off. And we'll watch it bleed down. And time it based on the uh, second counter of the video. Okay, and there's zero. Now, a couple things. First, where I've got the PCV plugged here, um, I just couldn't get a good seal on that, so that is hissing a little bit. So we're losing a little bit there, um, but nonetheless, it's allowing me to pressurize the system, which is all that matters. Uh, now, the first thing I found, this hose clamp here, um, which holds the little aluminum reducer coupler in that the uh, little aftermath tube bolt uh, clamps to, um, was loose and that was from the factory like or from Cobb like that I, I never touched that clamp didn't think about it and as soon as I pressurized it it started hissing like crazy and uh, actually blew the coupling off at only a few psi so uh, I tried reusing their clamp a few times and it kept blowing off so this is a different clamp I'd found and I tightened the hell out of it and it, it seems good uh, second leak I found was from this guy here goes down I don't know if you can really see but it goes sorry I had a video cut out there it goes down to this 90 degree elbow um, and uh, it was leaking as it goes into the silicone here um, and I think what the problem was I had this I was trying to reuse as many factory clamps as possible and I had these hoses clamped down in this little clamp and that was that was pulling this over to the side like that and stressing it so I unclipped it and uh, just let it kind of find its natural position and uh, no more leak there. Um, a little bit of a leak, I think, from my coupler there. Um, I uh, loosened the uh, clamp, kind of wiggled it a little bit, reseated it, tightened it back up, and if it's still leaking, it's very slight. Um, even so, as it was, I was having no problem hitting target boost on my previous drive, so although it may be leaking, it's not significant. Obviously, I'd like to address it, but I'm okay with it for now. Blow off valve doesn't leak. Uh, reached behind the intercooler, found the Y pipes. Uh, just felt them with my hand and couldn't feel anything. Uh, so I think, I'm hoping, this little thing here was the source of my uh, weird idle problem. Maybe between that and, and this guy here. Although this wasn't really starting to hiss until about 15 psi or so, which this inlet never sees boost. So I. Don't really think this was an issue, but this was definitely leaking some air. Uh, so I'll get this all put back together and uh, we'll see if it runs a little bit better. I'm also gonna do a uh, hard reset via the battery. 
uh, just to full on reset everything. And um, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but uh, we'll start it and see what happens. 